YouTube, what's going on today, man? Uh, ben Copel back here with another video on your favorite content, Helium. And this one is an update to the previous video on the Shreen Helium Amplifier. Um, we're here to answer the questions that were, were not answered in the previous video because we were doing some testing. And just to kind of tell you, is it worth it? And how much did it boost my rewards, witnesses, and all of that kind of jazz. Okay, stay tuned. Here we go. Thank you for clicking on today's video on the update on the Shireen Helium Amplifier. I really do hope I'm saying that name right, Shireen. Shireen. Um, I'm going to call it Shireen. Um, I apologize if that's wrong. Uh, furthermore, I just wanted to come here and just say that it, I guess this amp is now on sale, $299.99, which can kind of change your ROI on, um, you know, when using this. Uh, I did want to also address that um, this unit, if you go into the specs here, that's linked in the previous uh, description of the previous video. I will uh, also link my previous video in this in this video. They have two N-type female uh, adapters. So um, if you have a McGill antenna, then this side can direct uh, can go directly into your antenna, and then just make sure that you have an N-type male. Um, LMR 400 that connects into this this part and then into your into your minor. Okay, I uh, just wanted to make that clear. Also, if you go to my old other video, we have this guy right here, MJ, that says uh, five watts. You'll burn out the radio card in the minor. Uh, it is a one watt system. MJ, if you're uh, watching this video today, I would like you to um, explain what you mean there because uh, I don't understand it. I believe that this is up to 5 watt system, um, 5 watt max. So I'm not exactly certain on that. It might be true. And here's your disclaimer for those of you considering buying this uh, miner. Um, MJ says that you might burn out the radio card. Um, I haven't had issues with my miner um, using it. So uh, that's just my personal um, experience with that. With that. So. I just wanted to uh, say those things. All right, so without further ado, um, we want to know how my miner did before and after. Okay, but right before we do that, I want to show you guys a couple of things. Okay, so this is my miner. Okay, um, it's a rack wireless. I'm using a 7.5 dB antenna. Okay, and I want to show you guys when, um, you know, what's going on with this. I made this video on April 18th, and that's when I installed the amplifier, okay? Today is Monday, April the 25th. So we're um, about a week, you know, since, exactly a week actually, since I installed this. Uh, so I will say this though, um, a lot of these YouTubers, and whatnot, NAR and the RSSI are important numbers, right, to pay attention to when you change your antenna, your um, amplifier, and things like that, right? Sometimes when you use an amplifier, you will get an error, or you'll go to your begins, right, and then you'll go and you'll go to a begin, and you'll see, you know, you'll see, you know, 13, and then you'll have an invalid, and it'll say that the RSSI is too high, right? And that's the strength of the signal, which is calculated by what is placed up here in the antenna gain, right? And the RSSI might be too too uh, strong, and, and um, you'll get an invalid witness, which affects reward your rewards. So there's two ways you can get around this when you're using your um, amplifier, and that's inc so the first and easiest way is just update this to even if you're using a 7.5, uh, you might update it to 8.5, right? And see if you get another invalid witness on your beacon the next time. If you don't, uh, then you, you've you upped it enough and you're good to go. Okay, the other way is you can buy a, an attenuator, um, which I don't know much about, so I won't um, delve into that, but essentially it, it gives you a DBI loss so that your, um, you know, combats, you know, the too strong signal. But the easiest way is just to update this and play around with the number until you get a you know, tell you never get any invalid witnesses. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, there's many more people out there that are more technically knowledgeable than I, obviously. Um, and 
the technical analysis I'll leave to them. And the purpose of these YouTube videos is help for is is to help those who might have more limited knowledge, um, kind of like me, right? When I was starting out, and I did a lot of my own research with a lot of other YouTubers and Reddit and all of this. I'm trying to bring all of the information into one place for for you guys, so that you guys can get some good some good rewards on your hotspots. So that is the kind of point um, I'm making on that. It seems though, I went through my list here and I found a common excuse me a common um, uh, beaconer, right? So I looked, I scrolled through and I went before I had my minor, um, you know, before I had the, sorry, the Shreen Helium amplifier on the antenna. Um, and I, I looked at the DB, uh, the SNR and the RSSI. And then I scrolled up and I found the same exact hotspot that I was witnessing their beacon on. And it seemed that, uh, that these numbers were better with the amplifier than without. And especially the SNR, the signal noise ratio. Um, and I, I, so it, essentially the way that that works is the signal noise ratio is like your radio, right? If you have a lot of static and you just turn the dial up, then you still have a lot of static, right? So you can't really hear what's being said. Same thing with an amplifier. Amplifier just turns that volume uh, knob up, right? But the good thing about this amplifier is that it also has this Shreen Helium amplifier is also that has a filter. So it filters all of that static out, so it's a very clear signal. And it seems like from the testing, right, with that common uh, beaconer, a common hotspot that I was witnessing, that the signal noise ratio was a better value once the amplifier was placed than before. And that's kind of where we want. And the RSSI was stronger, right, the signal strength was stronger with the amplifier, which tells me that the, um, you know, the, uh, the amplifier is doing, doing what it says. Okay, so without further ado, um, I kind of wanted to go and show you guys the results, starting with the amount of witnesses that I had. Okay, so I took this screenshot on the Helium Geek app. Helium Geek app um, that shows how many hotspots I witnessed uh, their beacon um, in the past five days, I believe. And so uh, this was the day after I installed the amplifier, right? Um, 7.5 McGill antenna with a rack hot, black hotspot. Uh, so I had a 32 witnessed. Uh, on the day, which was the 18th of April, okay. Um, and then the, the, on 421, I had 37, so that number increased. And then on f four, uh, the next day, 40. And then on the last day of the uh, of having the amplifier there, I had 42 witnessed. So you can see that the amount of witnesses increased by 10, right? 10 more people I could witness. And obviously, as you guys know, witnesses witnessing is the only thing that we can um, try to better with our hotspots in, in order to increase rewards, right? The more proof of coverage that you um, are able to provide, the more um, money or the more HNT you are rewarding. Obviously that might change in the future, right? As these hips are integrated and as the Helium project develops. But uh, at this point, the goal is to witness as many other hotspots as you can, right? And um, so a 10 a 30% almost, 10 on 32, right? So almost 30% um, increase, uh, you know, on witnesses is, is pretty significant. And obviously there's people out there that are like, hey, okay, Ben, awesome. You got a 30% more, you got 10 more witnessed. What does that mean for your rewards? And so um, that's a great question. And that's why everyone's here. So let's just show you the difference, right? April 15th and April 16th were when my hotspot was syncing to the blockchain, okay? Well, it synced to the blockchain on the 15th and then it earned and then it had, for some reason, I've noticed that the first couple of days when deploying a hotspot is very low um, earnings. And then it gets into its groove and we got, on April 17th, we had the same McGill 7.5 antenna, D, uh, 7.5 antenna um, in the addict, you know, in the same spot, right? And we earned 0.11 without the amplifier. Then on the 18th, we installed the amplifier and we earned for five days. So the 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, uh, and then the 22nd, and on the morning of April 23rd, I removed the amplifier, and we earned 0.11 and then 0.15. Okay, so then you're like, okay, Ben, so how does this affect my ROI? Is it worth it? Let's uh, let's go back to the the Excel sheet and let's talk about. That. Okay, so here we're back with our ROI calculator that we had used in a previous video, which is will also be linked in the uh, description or will be somewhere up here on the screen that you can click on. Um, so essentially, we want to calculate the difference, and if the Shreen Helium amplifier is, you know, works based off of the numbers, right? It doesn't make sense for us to um, 
you know, purchase this and how will it affect our return on investment and all these inform this information. Now remember, I've only tested this amplifier for five full days, okay? And so these results, you know, may be skewed just a hair, you know, because you could get really lucky in those five days and, you know, that the amplifier is there and witness a lot and make a lot more money. And then I could have, um, you know, had poor days when the amplifier wasn't there. And there's a bunch of uh, luck and stuff that's um, contributory to the to your earnings. Um, you should take these results with, you know, caution that it's only over five days, but uh, it's results nonetheless. And I can't make up these numbers, right? You, you guys have, you know, can go look at the numbers yourself. Um, but anyway, let's get right into it here, okay? So uh, with that disclaimer, obviously, um, let's get right into it. So we have we had previously calculated the average uh, daily earnings of H and T um, with the amplifier over those five days, right? Uh, between April uh, 18th when I made the previous video and when I disconnected it on, uh, you know, April 23rd, the morning of April 23rd. Okay, and that average uh, over those five days was 0 0.172 helium per day. Okay, and the average of the three days that I didn't have um, the amplifier, right, uh, attached with the same antenna at the same location, um, as many variables as I could keep constant, I did. Okay, and so over the three days without the amplifier, excluding, right, April 16th and April 15th, where, you know, syncing to the blockchain and, you know, kind of the slower two days, uh, excluding these two days, but with the other three days where, um, you know, there was no amplifier, we came out with a average daily H&T of 0.123 helium per day. And we calculated the percentage increase on with the amplifier versus without, and that's a 39% increase, almost 30, almost 40% increase on your H&T earnings with the amplifier okay so with that information then we can calculate the roi based off of the setup without the amp and the setup with the amp right so as you remember I, this is a black hot uh rack black black spot hot spot okay and i purchased it for 450 dollars right now we purchased this uh 7.5 antenna and an lmr cable to connect the the miner from mcgill and that was an investment of $332.31. Okay. So at an average of 0.123 without the amplifier, right? My daily average at the current market price of $16.92, right? Which, oh, it just changed to 17, but um, uh, that's another story where, where Helium's price is going recently. But um, that's just for the purposes of this 16.92, right? Um, with all of that information, it's 374 days until my return on investment with the with the without the, um, the amplifier. Okay, so that's 761 dollars a year. You see that my total cost was 782 dollars and 31 cents to get this thing going. Okay, now let's calculate with the the amplifier. Right, my amplifier. Remember, cost me 374 dollars and 24 cents. Remember, right now you can get it on a deal for 299 whatever. Here it goes 299.99. Okay, minus taxes and all of that. But let's calculate the ROI um, with that information, right? So I just added the cost of the of the amplifier, and that brings my co total cost to one thousand one hundred fifty-six dollars and fifty-five cents. And I updated the daily average earnings to point one seven two, and that pushes my um, days to ROI to three hundred ninety-seven days. So $1,062.18 at the current market price, right? The current market price. Um, so again, just over a year, right? So the real question is here, 374, 374, 374 minus 397. So we're talking about less than a month. Okay, 23-day difference buying the helium Shreen Helium Amplifier. So, I don't know. You tell me, is that worth it to me? Um, especially if you can get this amp for even cheaper, right? If you can get it for $299, let's call it $310 with, with taxes and shipping. Shipping's free, I believe. Um, I mean, you're at the exact ROI. So, if you get it for $310 on the, on the um, website today, right, you got the same ROI as if you didn't buy it. So, um, 
obviously I purchased it for 374. I have no affiliation with Shreen. Uh, they're not asking me to do this review. I'm just uh, giving this information to you guys um, in hopes that it'll help someone. And um, if you believe that it helped you, um, please comment, subscribe, turn that bell notification on for further videos. Um, I'm going to try to come out with a video on Monday and then maybe a video on Thursday will drop as well each week. Um, if you have any um, suggestions on the types of videos that you want me to cover in the in the future, please uh, you know comment below and I will for sure um, read those and try to comment to all of those um, as this channel you know continues to grow and I look forward to more videos. Um, so I don't know, you tell me in the comments, is it worth it, especially if you can get it for like 310? I mean, it's, it's the same ROI as as before. So you let me know. Uh, as always, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for tuning in with us, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.